Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the acceptable backup fire pumps as per NFPA 20 standards. NFPA outlines the requirements for these backup fire pumps to ensure reliable operation in the event of a primary pump failure. So let's get started. See, before we discuss about the type of backup fire pumps acceptable by NFPA 20, we will look at one small example in which you have a building and the sprinkler system is installed and connected to the electric fire pump. In case of fire in this particular building, there will be power failure. Due to the power failure, this fire pump will not work. So when it does not work, then how the fire can be controlled? We need to have some backup. So logically also it makes sense that in case of power failure, we need to have some backup fire pump. This is what NFPA 20 also states. So what are the type of backup fire pumps we can use or acceptable by NFPA 20? Number one is the diesel driven fire pumps and number two steam turbine fire pumps pumps generally in our projects we go ahead with diesel driven fire pump that's why you will see in each and every project you will have one electric and one diesel driven fire pump as a backup apart from this you will have one jockey pump which is used only to maintain the pressure inside the piping so you can see on your right hand side this is the diesel driven fire pump and uh, one more drawing i will show yeah we have one more figure as you can see here this is the steam turbine fire pump but basically we don't go ahead with steam turbine fire pumps in our projects so apart from this we need to know a couple of things before we move on to the next slide in next slide we are going to discuss about the third type of backup fire pump that can also be used and acceptable by nfpa so here we need to remember there is a criteria when we select the backup fire pumps as per nfpa 20 the backup fire pumps shall be capable of starting automatically within 30 seconds of primary pump failure this is the most important point you need to remember and we need to use ULFM fire pumps as per NFPA 20. Additionally, there is one more criteria that also must be met for the backup fire pumps. That is, it shall be able to provide a flow rate and pressure that meets the required fire protection demand. So in next slide, we are going to discuss about the third type of backup fire pump. See, we are going to look at the third backup fire pump that is electric fire pump. So, for example, you need to remember a couple of points which are most important. Here in your particular project, you are going to use one electric as a primary source and one more electric as secondary source. Then the secondary source will be acting as a backup fire pump. And in case of power failure the first electric pump will fail however the second electric pump will be activated by the controller so here you need to take one small device called automatic transfer switch so this eliminates the risk of this primary pump failure and ensure continuous operation so NFPA 20 requires this automatic transfer switch in case we are using two electric fire pumps. Okay. See, it is important to regularly inspect this backup fire pumps to ensure proper functioning of the complete system. So what are you going to, uh, you know, check for the backup fire pumps? You need to check the power supply 
and you need to conduct routine testing as prescribed by NFPA 20 and keep maintenance records. Thank you for watching this video on ensuring code compliant backup fire pumps. If you found this information helpful, make sure to subscribe to our channel Irfan CFPS for valuable content on fire safety and fire fighting systems. Thank you so much. Bye.